Hello everyone, this is Donna's happy hour. Just a reminder to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you get future notifications of the videos, and please leave a comment. Thank you, have a great day. Lord Amber, shine down on your face. You make sure everything's in place. They're watching you with a thousand eyes. He doesn't hear a word you say Let him tempt you with his smile I'm starting to feel like I'm misled you realize that you had a love for singing how old were you at that? like out of the womb I was just, really ah, no yeah. kidding <laughs> and, and, like were your mother and father musically inclined or no but my dad okay. has collected jukeboxes and repaired and so sells them okay. um, since he was 18 oh wow so by the time he had us there'd be maybe like 20 jukeboxes <laughs> In the basement, in the oh. and every single night he's just working on them, blasting records. Oh, wow. Uh, so I think I just started absorbing like sounds. Right. Um, music for me helped me cope with any sort of emotions I ever had. Okay. So I would just drift off and in, into space and start singing these like Middle Eastern runs. I didn't even know what I was doing. <laughs> you know, like at a very young age, just I remember just being in the shower, like five years old, like. Uh, you know, like no doing weird kidding, chromatic really. scales. <laughs> well, see, that's when you know somebody is, is tr to me, that's how I feel, is that they're really gifted and that it just comes so natural to them, you know? Mm -hmm. My brother is a singer, and the same thing. He never had any voice lessons or anything, and he, he his voice was just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And yours is too. I, I have to say, I really enjoyed the show. Uh, she killed it. <laughs> So tell me, um, let's talk a little bit about uh, American Idol, okay? Um, because I would think that that's um, a pretty big step. Yeah, you know, you uh, obviously were good enough to make the top ten. You were so close to the top five. Yeah, but you know what? Things always happen for a reason. Mm -hmm. Be because, let's face it, you get locked into that. Yeah, and. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad, right. I guess. And you know. I don't know how good it would be for me to be locked into that. Right, right, right. It, it's <laughs> Just my personality type. Right. I can't hide my feelings very well. <laughs> well, I noticed that um, the last several years, there's been people that kind of, they, I don't know if they're deciding at the last minute it wasn't their cup of tea, and they bowed out um, and didn't go forward because you really thought they would, let's say, make it into the top five or mm -hmm. whatever. Um, so it's not for everyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, at least you know yourself well enough mm -hmm. to say, you know what? No, you know. Yeah, you know, well, it's just scary in any, in any big machine, corporate machine type thing, you know, with those right. kind of contracts, you, you are bound to them between four and eight years. So I think that would have been very challenging, which is not what scares me from it, but it's more so that I may lose my creative control, and that's very important. To me. That's really important, and and four years is a long time. Mm -hmm. Eight years is definitely a very long mm -hmm. time. Um, but as far as let's go into the learning experience yeah. of that situation, I would think was an important uh, factor in your life. Yeah, I, I always looked at the show as like a stepping stone and like a test. Right. Uh, for me, I had been gigging 13 gigs a week at that time when they wow. approached me. Where you? Um, I've done so much in music people don't even know about, you know, starting with like playing with like old blues guys when I was 18 in clubs, uh -huh. going to jazz bands in clubs, and then Zeppelin tributes to James Brown's previous band calling me to front them. 
oh, from wow. some big shows. Oh, no kidding. Um, and then playing with like young rock uh, prodigies like Brandon Taz Niederauer, who's amazing. Uh, okay. Um, and then doing stuff in LA with um, Vic Firth is a drum company. Uh, okay. They have these things called VF Jams. And I was featured recently with Stevie Wonder's drummer. Oh, no kidding. And it's a really cool video if anybody wants to see a VF Jams. Oh, uh, yeah. Stanley Randolph is his name. Okay. Um, and that went viral, actually. And it was one of the coolest experiences of my life because it's just a huge room full of amazing musicians that play with huge pop stars um, mm. and just getting to do this, like, fun uh, funk thing right, with right. a live audience. So, anyway, I, I'm trailing off from the question.